guys, welcome to an Urban Bike and Hour review. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a beer which is slightly infamous um, amongst some of the reviewers, from, from what I've seen anyway. Um, I did buy this one from Tesco and, um, and, I, and I, looked at the, I looked at the reviews afterwards because I just wanted to get an idea of it because it sounds like a really strange sort of beer. It's their um, Fruit Twist IPA from Northern Monk and it comes in at 4.7%. So, I'll read a little bit at the back. It says, a fruit delicious IPA with flavours of strawberry, pineapple and lime. Spinning around a lip-smacking beer. So, there you go. Let me see if it's got any added artificial ingredients. Uh, oh yeah, pineapple puree. And that's it. The rest is just hops, yeast, natural flavours. So, a bit of pineapple. Okay, that's going to be... Pineapple's not the worst thing, but... From what some of the reviews that I've seen, people have just said, oh, chuck it straight down the sink. So, and you know me, I'm, I'm not subject to a shit beer. I've, I've reviewed many in my time. So, let's see what it, uh, this one goes. I'm not going to be following the herd and just saying exactly, you know, what people want me to say. I'm just going to review it and see how it goes. And I'm going to be very honest. Right, so beer in a glass, slightly hazy, golden colour, quite sort of foamy looking head. It's not sticking around for very long, but it looks alright. Let's give it a nose. See, now to me that smells like a an ice lolly, like a, a rocket lolly, uh, like a fruit, a fruity lolly. You're getting the pineapple, but it's not like a, a strong punching pineapple. Um, it's more like a, like a sweetie, like, a, like a, a pineapple candy or something like that. I can smell the lime as well. That Even that's like a, a mild, almost like a sweet shop lime. It basically smells like a bag of sweets. Um, not overly powerful, but the nose is, it, that's what it's giving off. Right, let's give this a go. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that... What is that? Oh, there's a really horrible aftertaste. I can't describe it. It's like... I don't know. This is how I imagine like dirty bath water would, have, would taste. Because um, it smells like someone's just run a bath with like loads of like sort of smellies, you know, like floral sort of smells. And then they've distilled it, put it into a bottle and given it a giving it out to drink. It's dirty bath water with a floral scent. You're not getting any of them, you're not really getting any of them smells that I mentioned. Um, it's a really horrible aftertaste, it keeps repeating. Um, taste wise, oh, I really don't want to do this. I want to get you the initial, because I got, it got taken over by that disgusting aftertaste. Uh, the initial hit is like slightly pineapple-y and a very and slightly bitter, which you think that would actually work, but then the body is really, really weak. I mean it just tastes like dirty water. That's all I can describe it as. Um it's like a minimal, very thin body, and there's this horrible yeah. Oh, this aftertaste. Sorry, I need to wash my mouth out. Uh, one out of ten, just for originality, for being so disgusting. Cheers. Mm. 